Something is not looking good for us today. Over the last several decades, the problems have accelerated here in our basin. Our weather has changed dramatically. The entire watershed is fragile and very vulnerable. There are very real impacts of climate change. The types of changes we're talking about for rivers are really dramatic. There has been two big fish kills since the 07 storm from low flows, high temperature. In most years, the Chehalis River is the largest producer of salmon and steelhead within Washington State. It's the spring Chinook run it has declined. We could be facing a situation where it's going extinct. The last 30 years have seen five of the most significant floods on record. Flooding is the number one cost to the federal government in disasters. At some point, you need to just go, okay, what are we gonna do about it? We can't handle it, even with levees, and that's why we need a dam. The west end of the dam will be tucked against that hill just off my property line. And the proposal is that it be used for only the 10-year flood. This is something that will open up and stay open. It is also potentially an expandable version. There's people that just don't want dams to not want dams, but most of them don't live here. The stance of the Chehalis tribe today is that we disagree with the solution of a dam or any kind of retention project in the headwaters. We're hoping that the dam won't be built here. I have concerns about the indirect effects of such a large structure on the river and how that will affect our cultural resources. There's a lot of native fish species up there that would be directly affected negatively by a dam up there. I think it's important to know what the consequences of doing that are. As awful as the floods have been, it has definitely spurred a massive movement in data collection. If we're really going to make a difference for all the communities in an equitable way, we have to look basin-wide, which goes beyond the scope of what a dam would do. With climate change, as a farmer, we feel all we have is adaptation. I think it does have to be a holistic approach. There's lots that can be done in thinking about how to sort of reconceive how we're managing a watershed. Do you just move entire communities out of harm's way, or do you build infrastructure? And this process has involved people from very different points of view trying to mutually address and solve two problems at once. And it's a balancing act, and not everyone's going to be happy about what's done. The longer we wait, the harder this problem's going to get. So every decision that's made in the short, near, and long term is very critical.